Carlos Contreras de Gaspi, I'm here with the number two and three ranked featherweights in the world, Brian Ortega and Jair Rodriguez, uh, which are fighting uh, this Saturday. Uh, Brian, uh, well, tell me a little about uh, how hard was to, to take this fight against uh, Jair. Uh, tell me how you met him and, and, and what, what came to your mind uh, when, when they told you that you were going to face uh, a guy that now you can call your friend. You know, it, it, it sucked, man. You know, it sucked. It was, uh, they, they called me and they told me, hey, man, uh, you know, we got your next opponent. And then my first thing was like, is there anyone else? And they're like, what do you mean? Like, they thought that I was being scared or something. I go, nah, man, it's just not someone that I want. Like, I'm trying to fight with. Like, well, like, it's already like said and done, man. You guys got to do it. And I was like, all right, let's, uh, let's do it. We, we don't have a choice. So um, that, that was it, you know. It, 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 that was the decision that was made. And uh, we met, uh, I want to say, briefly first when I fought Frankie. And, you know, I was he was talking to Heidi, and I was like, I was talking to Heidi too. And I was like, hey, man, get away from my girl. Like, joking around. And he's like, nah, nah, nah. Like, he just started laughing. And then he said uh, good luck to me and everything. And he wished me well which is something that fighters don't usually do in my division. So he gave me good energy. And then after that, I seen him again in Mexico. And then he said, hey, man, you're more than welcome to party with us and hang out. And I was like, oh, shit, I'll go all right, hell yeah. That was cool. And then, after, and then we just kept kind of running into each other, saying what's up. And then I think like our last time we were together was in, uh, in Vegas. And uh, that's where we had like a, a good time together, actually, you know, just being there and, and racing together. And, flipping car over and just uh, having a good time. <laughs> so, and Jair, I know you mentioned in, in the past that, that you didn't want to fight uh, uh, Brian unless it was uh, for, for a title. And, and now it, it, it looks really close. I mean, he's not holding the belt, but if, if you get this win, it probably uh, gets you uh, to your first uh, title shot and, and probably also make a statement for, for Brian to, to, to face again Alexander Volkanovsky. Yeah, I think he's like, um, like, like Brian say, you know, it's a, it's a fight that we didn't want to take. It's, we really had to. Uh, we had the opportunity to hang out a couple, uh, to hang like a couple of times before in Vegas, in Mexico City. He attended one of my fights. He was supporting there, you know. He was uh, uh, supporting me when I was about to fight uh, Jeremy Stevens. I was there for uh, when he fought uh, Volkanovski as well. I was supporting him, rooting for him. And uh, we had the opportunity to you know to to have a race together we're, we're racing the desert and uh, it was it was real cool you know uh, and, and having the opportunity to to hang with him a little more and getting to know each other better you know and we actually talk a bit about it you know and what was said was uh yeah it was like uh, he he told me hey man i know uh you know that uh, because we're we're all, kind of Mexican, same, uh, same country, and we kind of hang out or whatever. It's, uh, it's going to be difficult if we have to face uh, each other one day, but it, that may happen. And uh, I remember really well when he said that, uh, you know, like we wouldn't like to fight each other unless we really had to. And this time we really, you know, if we want to have an opportunity for the, for the belt, this is something that really has to happen. And as I already said, this is the opportunity I wanted, but not the um, opponent I wanted. Uh, but here we are, ready to face each other Saturday. Something that I don't really like too much, but you know, something's work. It's work, and uh, I rather, I rather this way. You know, keeping it cool, keeping it simple. You know, I like Brian a lot, so I don't have any problems uh, with facing him either. You know, but uh, you know, the top, the work's on a tie by itself by Saturday, and no, no bad feelings towards. Brian Ortega or anything like that. This fight is going to be historical for all the um, uh, Mexican and all this Hispanic fan base, uh, not only in the U.S., but obviously also in Mexico, where, where we are uh, used these wars in boxing but how can this translate to MMA uh, I mean uh, Ortega was talking the, today about uh, maybe the Barrera Morales trilogy uh, the Melendez against Diego Sanchez fight comes to my mind so uh, how can this translate to MMA how this this uh, rivalry how these wars uh, between Mexicans can translate to MMA uh, this this is a, just this is another fight where uh, two top athletes that represent Mexico um, 
are going in there, you know? And this is, like he said, you know, this is something that, would I like to fight him? No. Do I want to fight him? No. This is someone that, that I consider cool. And if I support you, I don't want to, you know, like, I don't want to be like, well, I got to win and this and that. It just makes it, it just makes it difficult. It puts you in a f situation. But other than that, I do think that this is a fight that speaks for itself. You know, all these fights have a lot of guys talking and they have to promote each other. Oh, yeah, and this and that, and then blah, 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 blah. And then the time they see them in the cage, they're like two little pussycats, you know? Uh, these are the fights that I think the world wants to watch. And we are two guys who, who don't quit, who don't stop. And, and I do believe that's where we come from, you know? Our, our, our blood is in our blood. And uh, we're, we're guerreros, you know? Like, we're straight up warriors. And that's what we are. And whenever you have any Mexican against a Mexican, whether it's boxing, nothing like that, there's, there's fireworks in there, you know? It, it's, it's fireworks because of our blood has hot sauce in it. And Jair, it seems like you need some of those fireworks uh, because Alexander Volkanovsky, the champion, said if, if, if you make a, a good statement, if, if, you, if you win in a great fashion, you could be his next opponent, that he would like to face someone like you. But it, it will take someone like, like Ryan to, to, to make that, to have a great fight. Oh, yeah. Uh, no clue all that. I'm sure, like, facing Ryan Ortega uh, is just... He talks by himself, like he said, you know, it's going to be an amazing fight. You know, uh, Brian Ortega is a warrior. He has shown that before. I have shown that I'm a warrior before. There is no clue about that. This this fight is going to be more than anything uh, for our fans, you know, for people that want to see two Mexicans fighting each other because they know the quality of fighters that we are every time that we step into the octagon. And, uh, you know, like I already say, and like Brian, Ar and Brian Ortega already said, the fight is going to talk by itself, you know. We don't have to be selling the fight too much, you know. We don't have to be talking crap or whatever, you know. The, the fight is, is selling by itself because only because we're Mexican, you know. It's in our blood. Like you say, it's hot sauce on our, on our blood. We're fire, and uh, we're ready to bring the fireworks for Saturday, I'm sure. Yeah. So, Brian, how much does it mean to, to, to have your, 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 your family here uh, supporting you? And also, it's the same for, for Jair, that uh, is, is, is having the chance now to bring a lot more uh, of his uh, family and friends. Last time he fought in the Octagon, uh, it was at the Apex uh, with uh, a, a, small, a small crowd there against uh, Max Holloway. How do you guys feel about having uh, your families here to, uh, to support you? It feels good, man. It feels good. I feel like... Uh I'm in, I'm in a position in my life where I can bring my family for the first time to New York City. You know, my, my mom's never been in New York, my dad's never been in New York, my kids never been in New York. So it, it, I'm, I'm blessed to, to be here and be like, hey, like, well, it's gonna cost, it's gonna lot, it's gonna cost a lot of money. It's gonna do this. I go, it doesn't matter, man. Like, I have all these guys here and they're, they're gonna, they're actually in this room right now, you know, as I speak, and it feels good to have them here and and and. Honestly, for me, it's just about motivating my kids. I want to motivate them. I want to tell them that I want to show them this is who I am. You know, to, to me, they don't look at me as a fighter. They don't they don't even know really how what this sport is. I'm just dead. So today they're as we speak, they got UFC gloves on right now and they're running around. They're punching each other. And they're here with me, man. And it's a beautiful feeling, you know, to, to have my family here and supporting me and to feel like, uh, you know, to feel home. And Jair, you had the opportunity sometimes uh, to have your brother and your sister in, in the corner. How, how much uh, does it mean for you to, to have them close this time? Uh, well, for this time, uh, none of them is going to be in the corner, but I'm bringing somebody really special for me in the corner this time, my friend Edgar, uh, who was my, not only my boss uh, at a time, but also my sponsor, you know, one of the guys supporting me to get my, my first uh, Travel to Mexico. We travel 18 hours in order for me to get 18, 20 hours. I don't really remember. Well, uh, to get to the Teotihuacan fighter, like the tryouts, you know. And I, I always like to bring somebody that uh, give me good energy. That I know that he wants the best for me. As this time is uh, Edgar, and I have had Edgar uh, in this opportunity. Ramon Garcia, which was my first promoter, now my friend. My brother is been in my corner. My sister is been in my corner. 
And, uh, you know, I always bring people, uh, real close people to me. And um, right now I have the opportunity to bring my, my little niece with me. It's the first time she's going to, like, Brian Ortega, I, I don't I don't have a, a kid, right? I don't have uh, my own babies, but my baby is my is my little niece, is my brother's daughter. And it's cool, you know, to, to give them the opportunity to come and, and know New York, you know. This is just like a dream come true for them. And... Uh, you know, then my dad is, is going to be really happy, you know, it's, uh, people's going to be looking great at him because he always you know, gives a hat and stuff. And uh, they, they don't even know what's up. They don't even know what the f is going on here in New York. And, uh, you know, it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny to watch. It's going to be interesting to watch. And uh, it's great. It's great like Brian Ortega. You know, we're, we're kind of looking for the same, you know, giving our families uh, opportunities that... Um, we couldn't hear them before. Uh, experiences more than anything, you know. At the end of the day, the result of this fight, it doesn't matter for me. It doesn't, none, none of it matters, you know. It's just enjoying the process. This time it's been fun. It's been good. I don't have uh, bad energy. I don't feel like like I'm really going to fight, you know. I feel like uh, I'm doing this for the first time in a long time, but I'm really, really enjoying it because everybody's going to be here supporting. Uh, his family is going to be here supporting him. My family is going to be here supporting me, supporting me and supporting him too. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We're two Mexicans trying to make it to the top. And at the end of the day, uh, we're supporting each other, which is weird to see in, like, reality. You know, sometimes Mexicans are the worst uh, rivals against Mexicans. You know, and this in this time, I don't feel like it's that way. You know, I think we're, uh, I, like we, we already said before, no, we're not the best friends, you know, but we're homies. We have uh, had great times before. And uh, the, only, the only feelings that I have towards Brian Ortega and his family are, a good feelings, good emotions, and I always gonna uh, wish him the best uh, for him and his family. And they're going uh, for more international markets. So, if we ever have to go to this fight again, we'd like to have that in Mexico. Hell yeah, Mexico yeah, would be like dope. I wanted this yeah. to be in Mexico. When they said New York, I go what? Yeah, really? I, know. I go, I maybe yeah. Texas or you know, Texas or Arizona or LA or. I'll go Mexico. I'm down and New York. I go. All yeah. Right. Hey, let's yeah, do it. Say, let's let's bring Mexico to New York. Yeah, right. But I mean, New York is cool. You know, it's for like not many events have been done here by the UFC, which is I think it's cool because of that. But exactly like you say, I think uh, if I didn't make who have been a lot better than than here. But like it doesn't matter. The place doesn't matter. We're like two warriors. Uh, it's going to be a great, great fight between you and I, brother. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you both have proven that uh, you always go to, for, to get the fight of the night bonuses. You always go to finish the fights any, anywhere you're fighting. So uh, I think uh, and I hope we are going to have a great uh, fight on Saturday. And good luck to both you guys. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen.